All right, guys, I'm going to give you a sort of little update here on how I'm getting on with the quitting smoking thing. Uh, first off, uh, I'm still not smoking. I have had, this is day 17, I want to say. Uh, 15 was the day I almost slipped up and smoked. One of these times, if you've been a smoker or you are a smoker, You'll know the score. There's there's certain times where you need like the, the need for nicotine is just it's beyond your control. You just need it. You just it has to happen. And I knew this challenge was coming, but I wasn't prepared for it coming quite as quick as what it did. Um, and the lead up to Monday passed when it happened, day fifteen. Um, I knew the weekend before it. That I was going to have problems and that uh, hitting that 14 day period, the two weeks, I uh, had said to a friend of mine this weekend's going to be rough so I took as much time as I could to actually just sleep to try and keep my system off nicotine even thinking about it. Monday rolls around and uh, when you're coming off nicotine you could fight with your own shadow. Anybody that's done it will tell you exactly the same. Uh, you're very, very sharp tempered and it's only a matter of time for there's an explosion, there's an argument, words are going to be said and uh, unfortunately for me, Monday rolled around there, went to work and there was an idiot waiting for me as soon as I walked into the workplace on Monday morning and he was just out to start a fight, to start an argument and I was the target for him this day. Um, I don't know if he knows about the trying to quit smoking thing or he was just been an ass. Uh, either way, he was there to start a row and he got it off me. He got the reaction, there was an explosion, we had words and yes, angry wouldn't even cover it <laughs> so i hit that side of my personality i am the easiest going person you'll ever meet in your life but you see once you push me to that point where you know i need to fight in the corner and something i'm very very brutal and how i will react in a situation out there but it's one of these things in the workplace where you know people you know every workplace has one unfortunately where i'm at there's about 12 of them but you know these guys just misery loves company is the only way you can explain these people like they're in their mid to late 40s they've got to the point in their life where they're not happy uh they've just accepted you know that is as good as it's going to get um, you know I'm just going to make everybody around me as miserable as I am and unfortunately I was a target that morning so the guy came at me we had the argument uh, first thing literally from the first half an hour of the work day and uh, yes it's pretty much <laughs> told what the score was and to get out of my face it was pretty much the way it was left the rest of the day at work I was raging, like really wound up to the point where, as a smoker, whenever you get into a situation out there, you want to go grab some nicotine to calm your system down. Um, yes, that was the big, big challenge for me. On day 15, I was driven to the point where I'm like, ah. I'm going to really hurt someone if I don't get a cigarette. Now, I will be honest with you, I have still got the little inhaler with me. Uh, with the little, uh, little cartridges inside it. It's just like a sponge with a little bit of nicotine in there. And I did hit that to take the edge off on the Monday. But the entire way through work to quitting time, I was... I was planning on as soon as I get off, uh, like I wouldn't have time to do it. I get two breaks during the day, 
where I work at, but you would never have the time to go to the shop and come back to the fact it just it doesn't work out that way. You just about have enough time to eat and come back. So uh forced myself through all day, had the little inhaler once or twice. And when I say, you know, I used the inhaler, it was just like a couple of pulls on it to ease that edge or take the edge off but uh not a, like a real heavy go like a proper real smoke would be from it so just surprised myself really and how much i didn't need it that day even though I, you know i had to take it for a few moments here and there but i was well, like at one point in the last hour of the day and work I was like, as soon as I'm finished here, I'm going straight to the shop. I'm getting a pack of cigarettes. I'm going to have one cigarette. And I was determined to do it. But uh, as I was leaving, I tried to get it back into my mind again. The conversation that I had with my pen pal at the very beginning of this whole thing. I started this whole journey. Uh, kept that fresh in my mind to try and give myself a, a bit of a push to stick with the journey here so uh another way of tricking the mind for myself was normally i would when i'm leaving work i'm heading back home here to the brother that lives with me here uh, usually he'd throw the, stick the dinner on in the evenings and everything coming home from work uh, you know it's a good give and take between brothers so I actually took the phone out and texted him, and like, leaving work now, I'll be home in like 15 minutes. So, uh, I'm not in those exact words, but he knows where I work at, how long I'll take to get there. So I'm like, you know, leaving work now, which in my mind meant I couldn't take the detour to go to the shop. I had to come home, straight home on that journey. And uh, did that. Got myself through the evening and uh, managed not to smoke. But I'm not going to lie, that was the toughest, toughest challenge yet. Like, there's nothing worse than, especially that early in the process. Like, you know, if I get another couple of weeks past me, I'm pretty sure I can have the same interaction with an idiot at work it's out just to start trouble and just drag you down to their level and it would just be like water off a duck's back but that there on the day 15 when you, you've just had one of the toughest weekends if i was going to fall i was going to fall there but thankfully it didn't we're still going strong now on day 17 is it yeah 17 so going strong so far so good uh yeah so if you can relate to this little story let me know in the comments below this video and that's going to do it for this one i'll talk to you in the next one